welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles uh, tutorial. And this one's going to be on my current map mod load order that I've been running since uh, Pro Mods Canada was updated. And uh, it's the one I really like. So here we have a new profile. I don't have any map mods in it. So you can see this is the extent of our world. It's the default. I've got the world background map mod in here. And we're going to have to uninstall that because <laughs> it doesn't work. Cause we're going to go way outside the boundaries here because I like to run Alaska and Mexico. And can't get down there. And um, yeah, so and Canada, of course, ProMods Canada and that connector that goes between ProMods Canada and Alaska, which is it's kind of a really neat drive too. I got to do it again soon. Okay, so anyway, let's get started. So I've, I'm going to put links in the video description uh, to the map mods so you can go find them easily. And what we're going to do here is we're just, you know, you put them in your mod folder and then they'll appear in the mod manager and then you can install them. That skin in the background, that's a work in progress. Uh, Ruta 389, now they have that working right. So let's go to the mod manager. And what I like to do is, uh, you've probably seen before, and I'm doing these map or uh, load order things, is if I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in, like if I was putting this truck in, I'd put it at the top and click all the things into place in the order that it's going to appear down here. So at the top, that would be on the bottom. Well, we'll see. I'll show you with the maps when we put them in. So the first map that's going to be underneath here is, well, it's not even really a map. It's going to be the uh, extension, um, er, sorry, the uh, connector between ProMods Canada and Alaska. So I'll just type in Alaska in that search thing. Well, there we go. So it's this one here. So that goes in first. And then on top of that, we're going to have ProMods. So we'll just type in Pro. And the... Um, we're going to have this background map that's going to go in. So this, if you're using the uh, Hawaiian Islands, um, or what do they call that again? Pacific Islands? I forget. You'd use this background map because it has goes as far as Hawaii. Actually, it'll take you all the way to Palau if you do that map mod too, which I've, I've done before. It's kind of cool. Maybe we'll do that in the next map mod tutorial where I put in C to C. This one's not going to have C to C, so this is going to have the version of ATS expansion that doesn't use C to C. So that's what we're doing here. So we can put this in right now, get rid of that one. And uh, we'll just take this and put it in its proper place right now. Now, ProMods. So ProMods is next in the, let me see, how does that go again? Uh, assets goes on the top. And um, then we're gonna have the open depth. And I like to do the convoy open def. Let's see if we have that in here for convoy mode. I just use this one all the time. I don't I don't use the one that I created. You create this one when you go to get pro mods from their website. Uh, step one or two is to create your open definition. And you can select what sort of PC you have. Like, I mean, do you have performance? Do you want normal, balance, whatever? And I always just go with the default open definition when you get that option. But I don't use it. <laughs> is I always just use the one from Steam. So you can see this one. We look here as the Steam icon. So search for this on Steam. Just type in ProMods in Steam and get this. So anyway, that's... So the next one up is Map and then Models. And what's happening here is when we put these to the bottom, I'm going to put that one first. Well, this will go, then that, then that, then that, and that. And I'll just move them straight to the bottom, and they're going to be in the right order. So the next thing up is ATS expansion from Recon and Driver 47. So type in ATS. And we want, uh, okay, so now you'll see one of these is for C to C. We don't want that one. We want. This is going to be on the top, so we'll put it in here, and that, and that, 
and they're going to go in in the right order. Now we need all the reforma stuff that I like. And you can see a whole bunch of it here, right? Is it all in one place? Let's see if we got everything. Uh, and here I got to refer to my an image I took of um, from a profile where I have it set up already. So we want the Nor'east uh, beta. I'll put that in there. And then Sierra Nevada, which I, I love it. I love that Sierra Nevada so much. Then Pacifico, Los Baltos, or Los Altos. Then the Reforma map itself. And then the mega resources. So these the, those are going to give us all that Reforma stuff. That's going to be real good. And then finally, uh, Alaska. So we'll go back and grab Alaska. There we go. So all of these are in the opposite order that they're going to be at the bottom. So we just go to this one and shoot it to the bottom. Go to the next one. Shoot it down there. That one. Just keep doing this so we get them all down there. They're going to be in the right order. And I said they had a different way of handling this, but it's what it is and it works if you just learn. You know, whatever works for you is a way to navigate it. This is what I do. Doesn't mean you have to do this. If you have a different plan that works, that's good. But this makes a pretty nice map. It's really drivable and uh, it's reliable. Uh, just no issues with it ever. No uh, crashing or weird stuff. And I love it. So there we are. That's the right load order. So what you can do, I'm going to just pause here for a sec. And you can either do a screen grab or whatever you want. And so what I usually do when I'm showing, uh, if it's more than just this, I'll highlight one. And then you just move it off the top of the screen. But we won't get that far because we only have this many. So you can take a second shot there. So that's the load order. Or this is the map combination I use most frequently. And we'll make a bigger one in the next video. We'll put all kinds of stuff in it. But like I say, this this is awesome. And I have lots to do when I'm in here. <laughs> It'll give you all kinds of things. So anyway, let's go confirm changes. And go to the game. It's going to take it a little bit longer to load this time because it's got to sort all this stuff out. And we changed the world background map. So it's given us a little bit of grief there, but that's fine. We did it on purpose. Now what we will do, I guess I'll explain now, we're waiting for this to load, is um, you could leave it here and have to go and explore all that map and be adventurous and, and do it the right way or fly to cities or whatever you want. And uh, I, I kind of like that. I don't do the um, TSSC tool and discover all because I find that kind of ruins it. And it actually doesn't work very well. Or is it even still an option? But now you see we've got this great big map and you could go over as far as Hawaii. You should be way out there somewhere. But we're not going to go find it because we don't have it installed. But we will have Alaska way up here. We've got, this is all part of the connector down to Promods Canada. That route, you can see the line on the map there. That's the road. Or if, you, if we can barely make it out, it's very faint. Promods Canada. We've got the ATS expansion sites like uh, Shoshone. Uh, Gray Bull, Cody's been added as a uh, a spot where you can. Um... Oh, there's a ranch near there. There's Jordan that gives you Hell Creek. 
Malta was added uh, with uh, several things in Malta. Chinook, Hover, uh, There Shall Be, that's the Welker Farm. So a bunch of stuff has been added here. You can see in uh, down here in Colorado, we should have Ray right there in Le Mans. Lyman, Le Mans, <laughs> I get that wrong all the time. La Junta, that's been added. Uh, we've got in um, Utah right here. Oh no, right here, sorry, Colorado Cortez. And that's right out about here, gives you a, a expansion, pickup ATS expansion. Bovina, Dalhart has been added as uh, Darkness as far as near there. Anyway, long story short, and then we've got all of this Mexico stuff. And Mexico is working on, so is for connectors into Texas, right here, Presidio, there's one. But they're working on putting some more in. Uh, hopefully they get some more in here too. But that's to be seen. So now we could, uh, you know, we could pick a city and go to it and experience all that area. It's awesome. So well, that's pretty much it. Like, I mean, that's all there is to putting maps in. But what we can do now if we wanted so if we get out of here, oh, here's another thing. When you do these big maps, and you get them all over the place. And sometimes you're here and you want to click the X to get out of here if there's one. Like say, for example, let's uh, see. No, it's not doing it. But if, if it goes behind here and you're clicking on one of these places, you have to drag the map out of the way to get to that X in the corner of the window. But we have to confirm quick travel. So we'll do that first. Now we'll go back in the map and see if we get that phenomenon. Yeah, so now we're going to have that. So sometimes you go to click that. Like, say, if we had Phillipsburg right there, go to click it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> ah, that didn't work. But anyway, if, if you're clicking that X and it's bringing you to a site, it's because there's so much stuff on here and there's something right behind where you're clicking. So just drag the map out of the way and then click that X. That's something you might run into. Now, we could just leave it here and you go and have fun. Or uh, if we look at our garage manager and we see um, map view, we've got all the garages up here. Or do we? Yeah, we've, we've got it. Uh, wait a minute, current activity statistics. Yeah, we own these. So, and table view, we've got all these garages. So that's pretty cool. But if you look at the map view again, you see there's we don't have any in any of these other places. And having the garages is kind of a good thing because you can do that uh, travel thing. Like watch this, we selected Al Alamosa. And if you're not into flying around and you don't have the dev console, we could go travel. And it'll, and if you're not going, you know, Oh, wait a minute, that's not a good example. Let's pick one that doesn't have service. Sterling does not have a service center. But if we wanted to go to Sterling, we just click on the garage and go travel. Because typically when you go quick travel, you're going to go to a place that has service. But now we've traveled to our garage. So if you can afford it, there you go. And Sterling's discovered, so that's kind of cool. And um, But now... Let's do something we'll get in those other garages. So what we need to do is we're going to go to save and load. And we're going to go save current game. And we're going to call it garages. How do I spell garages? Does that work? Garages. Yeah, it works. Uh, okay, so now we're going to uh, exit to the launch pad. I don't... I don't believe you have to go read out for this. We'll do it like this. So now we're going to go Alt-Tab. Go to the desktop. We're going to bring up... I'm bringing... Oh, shoot. You guys aren't seeing this. Let me go over and enable display capture. That should help. Okay. So you should see this now. Got to find my G drive. Go to ATS Tools. Uh, go to the oh, one open up. Uh, 
TSSE tool exe and there will be a link for this in the video too so it's checking I'm up to date I say okay we're using ATS the profile I'm in is Ruta and you can't use an autosave so that's why we saved it saying garages click garages go load and we say yeah carry on um let it load it and we've we've seen we've got all our scales and everything else we've used it previously in this brand new profile to get some status here but we're going to go to company and there's a bunch of garages in here we don't own so you can just click buy and then you can click upgrade and we're going to and if you need a video on TSSC tool other than this, uh, well, I guess I should show you over here. When you do your profile initially, it's going to be at zero scale. So you can go up in tens and then ones, whatever you want. You can go minimum or max. I just like to put it at 50 usually. I, I'm not sure why this one I have at 60, but for these, uh, you have to click on each one individually to get those skills and then for uh say long distance you don't have to start here and work your way over you can just click on the right and you'll get all of your so this gives you all your bonuses on any job you complete so it's got that little multiplication factor on your completion so you can do this and like once again this is not necessary you don't have to do this you can just use it to go here company throw in the the name of the company amount of money and you can change your headquarters if you want right here then you can select buy and upgrade all those garages if that's all you want to do just leave it right there i don't do anything more with it than that and then i'll go save file saved go exit i say yep we'll go back in the game and Once we're in, first thing we have to do is load the save. If you don't load the save, you won't see any changes. And you have to remember, do that save before you go to the TSSE tool, or there's nothing to load there either. So, kind of important. Now it's, <laughs> it's calculating, and that's a lot of garages we just bought, because Mexico's full of them. So now we go to uh, save and load. Uh, load a previously saved game. Garages, load. And it'll take it a second. Or two, or five. 30. Come on. Working on it. There we go. Now when we go in and we go look at the garage manager, we'll see what happened there. There we go. That's, uh, oh boy, look at that. What happened? Oh, there it goes. Frame rates are just st killed there for a minute, but we're good. All right, we'll go garage manager. And see what happened. Oh, we got all the ones in Canada. We got that. Oh, you know what? I think there's one here we could. I bet you there's. I thought there was supposed to be one in Haines Junction we could buy. But anyway, let's see. What did we get? Uh, all the recon ones. Shelby, yep. Chinook, Malta, yep. Sydney, Mile City, Jordan. That's looking pretty good. Steamboat Springs, Cody, Gray Bowl. There's another one in. Is that one still in the map? Where was that? Westcliff. Got that. Looking good. Dalhart. We got the one that's uh, or Bovina. That's uh, Hell Creek Feeders. Now we've got in Amarillo. We got the one recon put in for 
goggles 56 paint and chrome look at all these garages in mexico we're looking good fairbanks alaska and all that of course i think i showed that already way up here prudhoe bay fairbanks great place to get jobs out of fairbanks man there's a lot of companies there and what we can do now is i'll just show you that um goggles 56 garage so let's go uh garage manager so we haven't discovered uh amarillo yet so what we can do is pick our garage and go quick travel and this is that uh, cool garage uh, recon put in place for me and uh man i appreciate it so home oh crashed the game let's see what happened there we gotta look in the game log oh uh, truck config to, uh game log let's see what it didn't like outside of raid boundaries that could be default on model power network service electric coil wood let's see if that's just an anomaly we'll jump back in and see what happened there this does happen every now and then when you make a whole bunch of changes to the game you'll uh because that's a lot that just happened so let's not panic let's go back in there oh boy the save i wonder if the yeah that should be good we'll check first before we do anything we'll just make sure we still have all the garages and this is uh yeah here we go garage manager map view yeah we still have them all so it's all still there uh let's go and try that again there's hell creek feeders on that uh, splash screen yeah here we go so that don't be alarmed if that happens to you like it's not the end of the world it's quite likely like i say we just added a bajillion garages all this territory all kinds of stuff just happened and the game can um you know it'll just every now and then burp on you so let's uh you can uh, go down here we'll just fly around here a little bit just have a quick look at what recon built here so this is kind of a neat home garage i liked it on there he put the big sign up goggles paint and chrome yeah, i just really appreciate that that's so cool put it on the building and of course there's uh your garage manager and service in this little bay here very nice fuel a couple fuel stops so um yeah good stuff so now I think I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to put links to everything and uh, going to use this profile on this big honking map to do tomorrow's video. <laughs> so once again, yeah, don't panic if uh, something weird happens right off the bat. Sterling is uh, showing lit there because we discovered Sterling when we traveled to the garage. When we traveled to Amarillo, we didn't discover amarillo so it's not giving us the uh the same uh, discovery of the, of the city which is a bummer so here's us right here at our garage but we'll carry on from there if you have questions don't be afraid to ask and look back through the video because it's you know the thing is it sounds complicated but it's not it's all about the load order like you can't ad lib it you can't just throw stuff in and have, you know if it's out of order the okay what will happen is if we go to the world map here and let's look where something connects um 
I guess here's a good example. You come out of Osoyoos, British Columbia, into uh, the SCS map, and there has to be a road connector here. And if you put things in the wrong order, and you look at your map, and you go, what happened there? You'll see the road will be broken. Like you, you will see a, a non-connection. Like there will be a gap in the in the road if you put things in the wrong order. So if you want to experiment with it and get frustrated, go ahead. But trust me, it's not it's not worth it. And you'll see when we do the one with C to C in all of this here, all is going to connect into everything that's over here. And there's a bajillion road connectors. Like all of these, you know, you got to get out of here. And there's so much happening that uh, you really need to pay attention to the load order. It's everything. Just like your load order for your vehicles and skins and trucks and engines and trailers. And uh, that has to be in the right order, too. Because you can't just throw stuff in the mod load order and expect things to work. So please follow it. And if you do have any issues, let me know. And you can also, uh, in the links in the description, see um, a link to my Discord. And there's lots of help on there, too, if you run into trouble. And if I'm not getting back to you in a timely fashion, which I usually try and do, um, get on the Discord, ask questions. Uh, and there's so many really good folks in there. It's just it's an awesome Discord, no drama, good times, good people. And lots of help. So I hope that uh, gets you squared away with uh, my typical load order. And in the next video, we're going to do the big map combo of a whole bunch of stuff. We're gonna, just going to load it up and check it out. So as always, take care, guys. Catch you on the next one. And bye for now.